Well, welcome back, Kayvon. So happy to have you here again as a as our returning guest and just uh, always enjoy our conversations together. Always so much to talk about and so many things to simplify entrepreneurship, right? I do too, Peter. Thank you very much for having me again. I, I too really enjoy always talking to you and these conversations because um, when I think the conversation that you and I are, are having right now is going to be yeah. heard and consumed by other people, so this is going to go out, help other people, you know, that's extra bonus <laughs> feedback that I get from this conversation. So it's yeah. it's a treat. It is. It really is. And I mean, I think we share that in common. It's like we just want to help people get through some of this stuff today, yeah. you know. Yes. And today we're going to talk about sort of automations and yeah. how they can give you more productivity and what they can do for your personal life and getting through the stuff at work, you know, and we're going to talk specifically about sort of three automations that can make the biggest impact. And that's, that's just so much of what we do every day as yes. coaches, right? Kayvon? It is. Um, there are automation can make things you know, it has a bunch of different benefits. One yeah. is speed, right? If you have something done through some sort of a process and automation, it's much faster than do it manually. That's for obvious. Sure. The biggest advantage advantage for me is accuracy. Being human, uh, we are prone to making mistakes every once in a while, right? Oh yeah. And also, if I'm doing a task at 9 a.m. It's very different than doing it at 7 p.m. <laughs> sure right? is. As far as chances of making a mistake or missing something and, and that sort of thing. I like for I noticed this about myself when I write things down with hand. There are, you know, many of the English words they finish. The last uh, word is E, like message. Yeah. That final E, I'm always missing it or many times I'm missing it. <laughs> and so the more, the tired, more tired I get, that E is is missing uh, yep. more number of times. So the accuracy because a sys a program, a computer, a machine does not get tired, therefore repeats it exactly the same way. So that increased accuracy is so valuable um, benefit from from automation that, you know, even uh, I, I, for me personally, it goes much higher than just speed. Yeah, yeah, it really yes. does. Give me another reason uh, on top when you were saying for me personally, it goes much, much more than that. So what, what would one more reason be? For automation or for accuracy? Yeah, look, yeah, for both. Right. Um, and another one is, is, uh, is resources. Because yeah. when something needs to get done, somebody has to do it. Yep. If it's me or somebody else, it's going to cost resources. For sure. Right? Uh, automation is not free either. It is going to cost, but the cost is so much less than than actual people doing it because uh, what's the lowest amount of dollar amount that we're going to pay someone for hourly tasks? With a fraction of that, you, ha you can have a, you know, pay your monthly Zapier fee, which can <laughs> take care of a plethora of, of actions and activities for you on, on multiple steps without mistakes, with speed, with accuracy. Like, it, it can't get better than this, right? It's be it's a beautiful thing. So much yes. has come ahead in the last five to 10 years. I mean, yes. just so much. And we'll talk a, a few of those today. You know, yeah. let's let's kick it off, uh, Kayvon, with, uh, with our first one that we're gonna talk about of the automations that can make a biggest impact for you immediately. Yes. Um, well, there are different parts of our business and the main thing that we do every day is communication. Yeah. So if, if you can apply any sort of improvement to any part of the business, I always recommend we start with uh, communication and let it expand to everything else. Because when you take care of communication, you're taking care of, you are taking care of 80% of ev everything that's going on. You and I are both coaches. So being mm -hmm. on a coaching call is communication. For Reading sure. an article is consuming information. It's for me, it's in the same. So it's the input output management and the, all of the communication. So if you can put automation on those and make them simpler and easier, uh, it's very important. And uh, one philosophy behind this automation is managing the time of engagement with different things. Um, if there is a coaching call, 
you and your client don't randomly get on a call. You schedule it. So you're exactly. managing time because that's the time that we are going to both dedicate to that. So same thing, scheduling everything, uh, reading something, going through emails, um, different type of tasks, everything when it has its own time is going to be much more effective. So these are the thoughts and philosophies when I want to approach to to automate something or make it more optimized. Does that make sense? Yeah, it absolutely does. I mean, for me, when you were talking about scheduling, there's this, uh, I can't remember where I heard it, but it takes seven interactions to book an appointment. At least. You know, b back and forth, back and forth. And you probably live this as well. Like yes. it, you're, you're, it's either a phone call and then an email and then you don't hear from them and then it's a message and then it's all this back and forth. And a few years ago, I added Calendly to my sort of mm. uh, automation toolbox and really yes. enjoy that. And I know you've used that in the past too and you've tested a few yes. others as well. But why don't, you, why don't you kind of go through that idea of what that can bring uh, to somebody who hasn't used okay. sort of something that will, will, will automate that for them. Yes. Um, before saying that, I'm going to say whichever automation that you're going to use, yeah, it's not just that. It's going to impact everything else and make everything sure. else better as well, Absolutely. which we're going to go through this example right now. So, um, yeah, Calendly or any of these appointment application tools uh, is a great help. As you said, uh, I heard somewhere between 7 to 13 messages back and forth for one single appointment to be to be confirmed because guess what? The final one after after it said it's confirmed, yeah. <laughs> right? Or or the ones after that follow up. Just remember our appointment is tomorrow, or yeah. are we still good for the appointment and, and that sort of thing. So um, let's use that a call sure. that needs to be scheduled. Yes, we need access to calendar, not only our calendar, their calendar. Somebody needs to be able to look at free time for both parties and and set a time. So a tool like Calendly, I use TidyCal. Before that, I use Appointly. There are many, many out there. They all sure. perform the same way you can connect your calendar to them. And uh, when you have that set up for your business with access to your calendar, you don't have to worry about it. They give you a link that you can just send this link to someone. Here you go. This allows you to, visit, to view what's available on my calendar and pick a one that works for you. So it's just, so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Just just if it just did that, yeah, it would be already awesome. Um, but what all what else also happens when the and it's time is scheduled, we both get notification. You have an yeah. appointment book. Yes. If there are other yep. things that need to happen manually or automated, now we have a prompt. Now we have a something that is a trigger that can start other things. Uh, usually these applications, they send uh, notifications to, to remind people your appointment is for tomorrow. It's going to start in one hour from now. You can set that up. And all of that communication that facilitates everything is built in to the program. You can even put in the questions you want to ask them, you know, yes. like, it, you know, I love that portion of it, too. It's like the questions that you would normally say, like, what's what are we going to talk about in the meeting or any of those things, clarifying questions before the meeting. And yes, then you yes. get you get you get that back in the email so you can actually go through what the what they want to ask you and all that sort of stuff beforehand and prep. I mean, it's just awesome. Yes. Um, um, more than anything else, it puts them in the mindset ready for this call. Because at the first, first few minutes, you have to get on the same page. This already facilitates that, gives you more information about who is it that I'm going to talk to, what is this call about, what's going on there. You can modify your questions that way. Um, another um, advantage of using tools like that, it could be a multiple people. Like if they, they need to have four people from their company on the call with you, they can add guests. Now, everybody gets all of these benefits and, and advantages and, yep. and go from there. In the case of some of the tools, I know Calendly does this, you can, if you have multiple people in your company that they're taking incoming calls, they could be a round robin kind of a uh, feature that it finds a time in multiple calendar and assigns the time to that. Uh, yep. So those are the advanced versions of it. Just let's just keep it on a one, one to one kind of a thing. Now that, Time is booked, but we also need a method of communication. 
Zoom or conference calling and all of that are um, options that people used for video chat or voice chat and that, that sort of thing. Um, these days, as you said, uh, technology is going really fast and always get, getting better and better and easier and easier. But even if it wasn't, it's how we think about it. So I remember, I don't know, about 10 years ago or so when you didn't have all of these integrations with, with Zoom and everything else. Zoom, I don't think even well, it existed at the time. I used this service called Uber Conference for yep. getting on a conference line together with my client. And I had my own Uber Conference uh, login information. This is the URL, this is the phone number you call, blah, blah, blah. Um, so before, uh, I used to just get the appointment and it would trigger that I send them an email, here are the call information. But looking into Calendly, or I was using Appointly at the time, um, I noticed that there is part of the confirmation message that I can modify. So I just copy, paste in there with the confirmation message and all of the future reminders, they already get all of the call information as well. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it. You set it and forget it. You know <laughs> what, Kayvon, the other one of the other big things is that the person on the other side appreciates it too. Yes. They don't necessarily want to have the seven to 13 back and forth either. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I can't tell you how many people that have never, you know, used that before. When they use it, they're going, oh, my God, that's so easy. I've got to, you know, tell me how to use this, right? Yes. So it's, uh, I need this too. And I think that's one of the things we're trying to share here with the Simplifying yes. Entrepreneurship podcast is just rolling through a couple of these quick wins. And uh, that that's kind of how I look at it. So we had to worry about sending them the contact information, call information, Zoom information. We don't have to do that anymore. And with the current integrations that's that's just easier you connect your zoom once and it takes care of it all in the back end uh for you um another adv advantage of all of that is you can set up other automations like i have this one that when people book a time on my calendar it automatically adds them automatically adds them to my email software by unconvert kit they add themselves to my list now i have all of the email addresses and that sort of thing they will receive future communication um, from me now going back to back in the old days again because these are all the things that we can do again right now or they're automated but I, yeah. more than anything else I want to uh, to to talk about how we think about this yes. so when people got on my uber conference at the time I needed to remember to record the call yeah then I found out in in uber conference there is a feature called auto record yeah I said that once I don't have to worry, <laughs> worry about it again, right? So it goes on and on. Every everything, little thing that we do, there isn't. How can I make? How can I make this easier? How can I make this simpler? How can I make this? Easier? It always goes with that. Now I mentioned there are different tools. I I have switched from two or three different appointment um, sure. software in the time, but you want to communicate that in your correspondence. It could be at the bottom of your signature or something like that. So they give you a link, like Calendly slash blah, slash, yep. slash. You know. But if you switch software, now you have a new link. And all of your previous links, that, which could have been in a PDF that you sent three years ago or mentioned at the end of a podcast three years ago or so, they're all kind of null now, right? Yeah, right. The leads are lost. So I thought, how can I make that simpler and easier? So I got the domain name. Talk to Kayvon.com, right? And it's just a matter of forwarding that uh, appointment booking page to to that domain name. A few months, a few weeks ago, I changed from Calendly to TidyCal. All I had yep. to do was change that forwarding. Nothing else in no other communication. Doesn't matter how many PDFs and podcasts and conversations, images there were out there. They're all going to the same place. So. Talk to Kayvon.com is the place to book an appointment so you everybody can do that. You know, talk to your first name or book a call with us right now. Or what is some sort of a domain name that you can get. Or the easiest one is your own website slash connect. Or yeah. you know, some some simple word like that. And that page is always forwarding to the right place with the right filter and that sort of thing. So the interface for the user is also always the same. 
Love that. I'm going to do that right after this call. I'm, I've got my next dom, dom, domain name uh, right in my head, and I'm going yes. to get that done. I love that. Thank you. you You've helped me today. My pleasure. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's all the time we have here today for uh, chatting. We uh, chatting about sort of calendar and all that good stuff. So much good things here that we're talking about on our uh, discussions with simplifying entrepreneurship here at Kbon. I always enjoy it. Can you? T well, obviously, we know how to get a hold of you if we want to book a call uh, <laughs> now. But uh, tell us, you know, just if if we're not quite ready to book that yes. call yet, but we just want to reach out to you. How else can people get a hold of you? Um, my website is simplify zone. Um, one thing that I do is I help people to basically use their strengths working in work in their zone. There is a um, I have a quiz there to see if you are working in your zone or not. That would be a good place to start. And guess what? After you submit it, it forwards to my Calendly page. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right? It's Just beautiful. Like that. Yes. Um, Auto magical. Yeah. Why, why not? Uh, there yeah. is the uh, program that I'm working on. So simplified.zone slash implementation. It's all about yeah. implementation. And I also have a request um, for the listeners or viewers. Of, of this podcast. I'd like to know what are the automations that you use when it comes to um, booking an appointment? What what tricks of the trade do you have to make it simpler and easier for all of us? Please let us know. Um, you can send it to, to us on social media or whatever. For sure. Um, yeah, and this will make it better. And when we learn something from you, we will include it in future episodes. Absolutely. We're, we're lifelong learners, Kayvon, both yes. of us. And I think that's why we get along so well. We're always looking for interesting new stuff. So yes. thanks again for uh, taking part of it. And thank you, listeners, for everybody that's listening in today. Hope to see you soon. And we'll be back again with another version of Simplifying Entrepreneurship really soon. So until then, make it a great day and bye for now.